so we're just on our way to do a few little shops and I thought I'd bring you along. Um, I'm gonna go to Hobbycraft because I need some more wool and just to see like a general look around. Um, and we're gonna go to a couple of reptile shops as well. So I thought I'd bring you along, let you know if there's anything spooky. Yeah, it's uh, no, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Spooky people. Very spooky. Black pom poms. Also very spooky. That's the shade that we already have. But I quite like this one. Looking for a frog but can't find one. Found a fly. Good enough dogs. There's a shark. There's not really much to a snake, is there? Snakes are a bit pointless. I'm not snakes, but snake things. They've still got the... Make your own snake. I want to make that. The space thing. Last place there could be frogs. I'm an end. There can sometimes be frog buttons. These are beads, where are buttons? Dogs. Pineapples. Pirates. No frogs. All I wanted was a frog. Got ducks. But no frogs. Creatures. Ugh. Now on our way to Emsworth Reptiles to get some fish food, and then we're going to go on to Grange Reptiles, which is arguably my favourite reptile shop. I'm not sure about yours. Yeah. I think um, the Grange with COVID are a lot more open still. You can still walk around, whereas Emsworth is so. Strict and restricted, which to be fair, like each they have of their to own. do what they need to do. Yeah, yeah, and their shop is set out in a bit of a maze, whereas the Grange is just like one big circle. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going on to get some fish food and then go to the next one. Just doing a bit more of my knitting. Decided to go for different colour colours of wool for the different stripes. I'm gonna do one stripe in this colour, then the orangey one, then back to this one, then the orange one. I think that'll keep it interesting as well because part of the thing that's keeping me going is just like seeing what colour comes next. Got the uh, 25 litres of pond sticks. My car for an MOT. <laughs> and they made my frog all dirty. Poor Mr. Frog. find him up here. Mm. 
This is my dream. This is my dream boy. He is all I want for my life. Okay. So, when it's trying to feed or... What does that mean? Hey, yeah, baby. Wow, look at you. You're so cute. What a good boy. Are you going to strangle Mike for me? He's a long boy, isn't he? Yeah, he's quite... Oh, got look... they've got sand boas. They're the ones that look really dirty. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> Hello, baby. There they are. The frogs. So cute. So, so cute. She's trying to get you. <laughs> you diddly doing. Look at you. Hello, Hello. I've seen another frog that I love. Meet Mr. Tomato. He is grumpy boy. This is how big um Jim is meant to be. <laughs> That's how big Jim was when he was a baby. Now Jim is bigger than my hand. <laughs> You are a very small chameleon. Like manageable, but please marry me. You are all I want in life. I do like ghosts. Cool. Go as a good boy. You big boy. Where's his body? Look there. Look how big his house is. You big so little kitten. You're so cute. You're so cute. Mike's just sorting out this enclosure for his new mantis. Its name is Ghost. Because it is a ghost mantis. Let me try and show you him. He's that kind of dangly thing. He's just getting warm up there. Next to Jeff's light. Um, snail's there. Jim's here. Fucking cute. Um, I was sent four of these green stick insects for school um, so I'm just going to sort them out some food, go get some brambles but they're pretty cool they look like your regular Indian one but just green I think they look awesome <laughs> so Mike's put his mantis in here you can just see it hanging there um, so the mantis in there, we've moved the spider to here, just so you can see them easier. Jim's had a little snack. I've given the stick insects some new greenery, tried them with a few different things and they absolutely love the oak, so that's good. Um, so Ted's is just looking cute. We've just watched the Meg film, the Meg, and we're going to go to Sainsbury's now, I've done a bit more, nearly finished the ball, once that ball's finished, that's reference for size of it, once this ball's finished I'm going to start with the one that I bought today and so far 
I'm still on the first ball, so kind of this is the length so far that I've been able to get out of the one ball and there's still this much left. So once I finish off that ball, that'll be the first stripe of the blanket and then I'll make the next one. <coughs> so it's about half seven. I'm just gonna go to Sainsbury's now to do some shopping. I'm taking my dating to do in the car. Oh, I was gonna go to TK Maxx, but I think it's probably shut by now because um, it doesn't stay open late. Just take the lights off. So yeah, it's time to food shop. Weekend at Bueno and I'm so excited. Done our shopping and now I need petrol. And check my tire pressure. Okay, so the animals have gone to bed. <laughs> it's nine o'clock, so all of the lights go off by nine. But I need to sort out my snail because I had to get him a salad pack. I'm just gonna move the stick insects and feed the locust. I just realized I should probably use my, my torch. <laughs> so this is what we keep the locust in. So these are what we feed to pretty much all of the animals. Feed them to the gecko, chameleon, not to the snails, but we feed them to Jim, who as you can see is waiting for one right now. Feed it to the spider and to the mantis, who is currently just there on the ceiling. Um, also at home, I feed them to my bearded dragon. So we buy loads, <laughs> literally loads every week. Um, but to stop them from going, going off and dying. So for my dragon, I just put them straight in my dragon's house and he'll eat his whole week's worth in one day. But for most of the other animals, they need it slowly. Spring greens, which cost 80p for loads. This is literally like a third of what was already in there. Um, and we give it to the locust and they can nibble on it. So I'm just gonna put this in and then I'll show you them nibbling. A few leaves of the greens for my snail. Um, and then I buy whichever one is cheapest that day. <laughs> so I've got some mixed seasonal leaves. Um, so these would normally be for a salad, so I'll probably put kind of half of this in, maybe. This is actually a bigger bag, so maybe a third. Um, and I just see which one's cheaper. This was one pound for this whole big bag, full of loads of different types, because having different types is always good. A few bits. So I've got my little bag of rubbish. As I said in a previous video, I make sure to keep the rubbish until I've found my snail. Um, I can see that he is sat on that little bit of cuttlefish which is really good that is helping his shell to grow if we look carefully you can see that lighter color brown that kind of first bit that is new shell growth the fact that he is kind of clinging to that little bit of um cuttle bone is really good but what i may do is break this cuttle bone up because it seems like he likes to bury it underneath and then kind of plant himself on the cuttle bone so just gonna see if I can bring him out a little bit and that shell growth is shocking look how good that is so the darker brown is how big he was before and this is his new shell which is just he's definitely a lot bigger even though he's still so tiny um so I'm gonna set it back up and then I'll put him into the place I normally put him so just to show you I've broken up the cut bone into smaller bits and then I've left one big bit so hopefully he'll have more chance of finding it. So now he's got this beautiful bed of salad. Underneath the salad, he'll kind of can bury down pretty much anywhere and find bits of puzzle bone. Um, so hopefully he'll be happy. <laughs> and I always put him in here. There he is. And I just place this in middle at the back and then he can explore so just give it all a quick spray but it is still quite nice and moist in there and he can now come out and explore and find whatever food but I'm really pleased with his shell growth I think it's looking really nice and healthy um, so that's really exciting. 
so yeah he's got greens if he wants to go up he's got lettuce on the floor bits of wood just to help with the humidity and loads and loads of cuddle bone <laughs> so yeah fantastic news um i put him in that pot because he often comes and sleeps in that pot so during the day um he'll be in there but if you get up at night and look he'll be gone um and then i hadn't seen him for a couple of days and he was i assumed underneath so when i cleared him out that's where i found him but there he is definitely getting bigger <laughs> oh baby snail uh, as you can see the the sun has gone to bed <laughs> yeah the locusts are all just like having a snack are there any on the ceiling now oh, there's still a couple on the ceiling um but they definitely have been nibbling away in there while we've been having our food i'm just going to move this because it looks like these ones are a bit stuck i've got one in my hand to see if my frog is hungry um he ate earlier so he may not be Yum. So I will leave this somewhat shopping turned animal vlog here. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. It's so nice you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.